I'm Buddy Nix. I coached the Mocs from 1984 to, through 1992. I, I didn't apply. I wasn't looking. Uh, P.W. Underwood, if you've ever heard that name, and, and Harold Wilkes were big buddies. So P.W. called me and said Harold was interested in me as the head job. I came in under uh, Coach Oliver my freshman year. Uh, freshman year, he leaves. <laughs> And Coach Nix comes in, because you know when you coach change, you don't know what's going on. You know, coaching staff, you know, I wasn't really recruited by Coach Nix. Uh, but Coach Nix was a player's coach. He just always just um, expected your best. Um, and, and that was just it. it. It wasn't a whole lot of rules, but it was expectation that you were going to go and perform at your best at all time. Compete every day at practice. Um, Best man gets on the field. He was hard-nosed, old school, which I was as well, so we got along really, really well um, when he got here. He had a lot to do with who I became between him and, and Coach Joe Pate, who was a defensive coordinator. Um, just kind of laid out the land and had the expectation of us just being the best that we could absolutely be, and we enjoyed it. Uh, I still hear his voice a lot of times now in my head in regards to not quitting and and giving everything you got. It was a good looking bunch now. That's the, that a good football team. But we, that was the first team. So I give them a lot of credit for making that adjustment to a new staff, complete new staff just about, except for a couple of defensive guys. And uh, it, it was, uh, you got to give that team a lot of credit. We lost to East Tennessee State, which, you know, to me, you should never lose to East Tennessee State. And we didn't score, which was just really uh, gut wrenching for sure. Uh, then we kind of turned around and followed up, and Furman had been ranked number one. We ended up beating them um, here. They were the team that you had to get by to, to, to win it. Uh, and, they'd, you know, Chattanooga had struggled with Furman, I think, for a while. We were down, or either it was tied, 14, in midfield, <clears throat> and it's fourth and three. And we ran Artis Edwards on the sweep. And he scored. And that's how we won the game. We won that game, which kind of set us up uh, to have the position, uh, to get in the position to win it. We also played Marshall up at Marshall. Marshall wasn't quite as good back then, but they were pretty good. And I think it's the game that we, um, we ended up having to run a kickoff back at the very end of the game. As long as we won that game as well. So it was another really, really exciting game. We could have very easily lost and would have never won the Southern Conference Championship that we won on a, a big play like that. Uh, but it still came down to the last kind of home game, Southern Conference game for us here, and we had to beat Appalachian State, which was always a tough team. It seemed to always be hard to win up there. I don't know that I ever did the whole time I was here, so it was fortunate that very last game in 84, they were here. App State has always been our nemesis. Um, I still remember the game. I still remember the excitement, the crowd. Um, I, re I remember most of everything about that and how we prepared. I remember it being rainy, it being a muddy game, uh, which defensive players love because uh, it slows down the offense. Our defense was really, really good. Our offense, we just tried to keep us uh, in there and score enough to where we had a chance to win, and so we won by one point. So it was a, it was a really exciting game. After we won the game against Happy in the rain, we're standing in that dressing room. I'm up on a chair talking to them. And they, Coach, we're going to get a ring. We didn't have enough money to buy a typewriter ribbon. So Harold walks in at the same time. And I said, whoa, guys, uh, here comes a guy with a purse. He's got the money. Ask him. Put him on the spot. <laughs> he said, you'll get a ring. And I'll give Harold credit. He raised the money, and, and all the players and everybody got a ring. So it was, it was a good deal. If he hadn't come in at that time, if I'd been just me going in and asking for it, probably wouldn't have got it. So the very last game of the year we played at Florida State, and anybody that's watched Florida State, right, that horse runs out there, with, and the guy throws a big flaming spear, and so being right beside that um, w was pretty amazing. Uh, and, and getting to play in that atmosphere and in front of that many people uh, was pretty cool. We win six games, but we... 
won the first conference championship outright. I don't think they'd ever won one before. They'd tied for it. And then we were the first team to go to the playoffs. Uh, all that wasn't all that much fun, that trip to, to Jonesboro, Arkansas. We ended up playing Arkansas State twice that year. They beat us once early in the year, and that's who we got in the playoffs. And they had a good team. I can't remember if we were a little bit disappointed that was Arkansas State because we'd already played them and they had beat us, or we were like, hey, this is our opportunity to try to get them back. You know, we ended up getting beat worse in the playoffs than we did earlier in the season. The only thing I kind of remember is it almost just felt like everybody was beat up a little bit, and obviously that would be the same for anybody right when you get into the playoffs. So I don't think that was an excuse, but we seemed to be a little beat up when we played them the second time. I, I give that team a lot of credit. It was a week to week, it was a battle, and the Southern Conference was a battle. I mean, they were a lot of good teams, so uh, to be able to, to do enough to win it, uh, I, give them, I give them a lot. They were one of my favorite teams, and I coached a lot of places. UTC had been really good in the 70s, and so you certainly didn't want to be the group there that kind of came in for four or five years and didn't win. Um, so it was a big deal to me for us to win it uh, in 84 for Chattanooga. More than anything, I'm just I'm just thankful for that experience. And it kind of started that way uh, in, in 1984. Uh, and here it is 40 years. That sounds crazy. 40 years later, and we're not only still talking about it, but we're still living it because it's still a part of our DNA. Here we are 40 years later and they're still trying to honor us for, you know, being the Southern Conference champions in 1984, so it was a big deal.